meditation is key. I'm kind of sweaty right now, ignore that. I promise you I wasn't just jerking off with both hands. It was because I just got done taking a jaw. I was running down an alley like a criminal. People was looking at me like I stole something and it didn't help, I got this black uh, wife beater on. Not the hino there. Meditation is key. So the three aspects of our being, physical, mental, spiritual, right? I think, and this is just my theory, my thought. I think uh, exercise aligns us physically in our physical world. Exercise aligns us physically, helps us be the best version of ourselves, healthy. Prayer aligns us spiritually. We talk to God, we could connect to that other world. And, and meditation aligns us mentally because we have a lot of noise in our head. If you're having arguments in the shower thinking about what you should have said five years ago to that one person on the bus stop, it means that you're not mentally aligned. It's, you, you, it's too much noise. If you're jerking off and an image of uh, uh, Ben Affleck pops in your head, it means you're not mentally aligned. It, you, it's too much, you scatterbrained and you can't control your thoughts good enough. You know what I mean? And I struggle with that myself, not the Ben Affleck part, but the arguments in the shower. It's just, you know, it's like, I'm thinking about something that has nothing to do with me right now. I believe that we should be present in this moment right now. And the way you can gain that is through meditation. So the way I like to meditate, I like to sit in peace in my room. I like to meditate at night, right? This is why I like to meditate at night because your brain rewires itself based on the last thing you thought about. If you study and you go to sleep after, You'll be more likely to remember that information because your brain rewires itself in the sleep. Same way, if you think about something that makes you angry, think about something that makes you sad, and you wake up, you're gonna wake up on the wrong side of the bed. You're gonna wake up sad, angry. You're gonna, it's, it's gonna feel like a little bit of that is left over because your brain just rewired itself based on your last thoughts. And that's why I like to uh, meditate at night. I like to clear out the thoughts of the day and recenter myself. Before I meditate, I pray, and then I like to dive in. So this is how I do it. That's it. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. And what that is, what that's doing, is this. Helping me focus just on my breath. I'm only focusing on my breathing. That is it. Every time a thought comes into my head, I snap out of it. And it happens a lot. Like thoughts come into my head a lot. And sometimes I wonder, is this even working? But you got to understand, practice makes perfect. And when you start off, you're not going to be as good as you doing it for 10 years. Look up the studies of meditate, people who meditate. Look at the studies of their brain. Their brains are rewired way different than ours. That inner monologue that we have, it's way more quiet. It's way more peaceful at that also. Just look it up. It's actually kind of interesting. But not the hint or there. This meditation, it will bring you a certain amount of peace. You will gain patience. You'll gain a deeper level of understanding, a deeper level of zen. You know what I mean? Like, if you're stuck in a traffic jam, you'll be more patient just due to the fact that you're used to that. You're used to sitting in silence and stillness. And you'll also be more comfortable with yourself and figure out a lot more about yourself. When the last time you sat in silence and did nothing, you always looking for something new. You know what I mean? That's what we do. We always looking for something new. Like, we have to be doing something at the moment or else we don't feel right. And I don't think that's good because we are not actually living, you know? We just distracting ourselves all the time. So I'm gonna add this not to overcomplicate anything, but look up binaural beats. They real beneficial to listen to while you meditate. It's rather you meditate in silence or meditate listening to them. They real good. I like to listen to theta because that's reprogramming the subconscious. And um, before class, I like to listen to the gamma. Uh, Andrew Huberman, I think, did a study on 40 hertz gamma. Look it up. Talked about how it could boost cognition and stuff. So that's real interesting if you're interested in stuff like that. But yeah, not to overcomplicate it. Meditate whenever. It's good to meditate at night before you go to sleep so you can rewire that brain. So you can rewire that brain. And it's good to meditate when you wake up. So you can set your attention throughout the day. And if you want to meditate whenever else, do it. You know what I mean? Like, I noticed that through meditation, I'm more patient i'm more calm i can see when other people don't meditate like they get they easily reactive they real reactive to stuff somebody says something to them and they angry they have trouble letting go of the past they have trouble letting go of 
you know stuff they have in arguments in their head etc and i do that stuff too and that means i need to meditate more also so yeah we can all just start meditating quick key points i want to add when you start off it's going to be difficult it's going to be very loud and very hard to do and you might only do it for like a minute and that's fine but as you keep doing it you'll get better um i like to keep a stopwatch on the one that counts up not count down because i don't want that thing uh ringing in my ear scaring the shit out of me but count let the stopwatch go on and it counts up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve whatever and when you're done just check the stopwatch and be like wow i did it for five minutes you know wow i did it for 10 minutes today and you can track your progress and see that you're getting better leave a like comment subscribe music channel link in bio check me out man i made a song called brumbo dragonfly check me out man i love y'all and always praise christ